Hey, Christina here. Welcome to my crystal art series. Today I'll be sharing the behind the scenes on my piece, Ritual, A Sixth Scent. Let's go! So basically, here is my mood board. A lot of inspiration was derived from a spiritual level. So a lot of witchy vibes, a lot of rituals such as journaling, meditating, etc. Whatever rituals define what you do in your day-to-day -day basis. A lot of magic, a lot of wisps, soul vibes, dark arts, and inner power. So all of these things that were coming together, we're all coming from this idea of spirituality and healing from within, fighting off any demons that could be blocking your thought process or blocking your dreams. So this is something that comes from deep within and we need to kind of channel our intuition now, understanding, you know, what do we want out of life? And for me, intuition seems like a sixth sense, right? Like you trust your gut feeling on things. You sense, um, you know, something bad's going to happen if I do this and something good will happen if I do this. You seek a little bit of the future in a, in a certain way. So these were the things that came up for me when taking on this project and the overall meaning behind this piece, Ritual A Sixth Scent, this piece encourages a lot of spiritual channeling with your inner being to cleanse your body. And it's all about cleansing the body out of any kind of demon or toxin vibes that are coming up on your day-to-day -day basis. So what we wanna do is design rituals for ourselves to eliminate those type of negative vibes that come up on a day-to-day -day basis. So normally journaling, meditating, walking helps to keep your body in balance and that's super important when it comes to healing and trying to find your inner self again and healing your soul. So through these rituals, you will then strengthen that sixth scent, which is intuition to ensure that you're staying aligned with self. And that's super important. You don't want to make decisions that don't align with you. And that just comes from the rituals that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Always checking in with yourself to see, am I on the right path? Am I doing something right? Taking this into procreate, so the composition I kept with a very symmetrical layout for balance, which keeping the layout centered for a sense of stability in oneself. I added in a wash of plum purple in the background and used the lasso tool to create a circle filled with violet purple as the base. Continuing with the lasso tool and round brush tool, I created organic shapes in the circle using fuchsia pink, violet purple, and a deep mauve. And I used the smudge tool to blend the colors around to create some magical movement. Using the lasso tool again, I came in with organic fluid shapes inspired by the wisp reference, bringing in some mystery and magic. The colors I used are more saturated to draw your eye to the importance of the wisp soul energy full of magenta pinks violet purple and a dusty rose pink introduce that thin ink brush tool to add white highlights to the stream of wisps i use the monoline brush tool to create a glowing circle plus witchy symbols to showcase the meaning of rituals to cure oneself's inner demons Coming back to the last sew tool, I outlined the wispy shape with a dark plum purple to break up what was in the foreground and background. 
Lastly, with the Dove Lake brush, I did a texture wash over the piece for an ancient old magic vibes. And that was basically the process in Procreate. Now taking this into Illustrator, I came in with my eight and a half by 11 canvas and I made two four by six rectangles and I bumped them together and I put a guide in between each of the boxes so we can make the middle of the card and I set up all the guides and I put little L shapes in each of the corners of the shape and these were my crop marks so I could cut down the size. And I basically put the two rectangles, the small rectangles together as one big shape so that we can see that this is the layout of my card down flat. And I brought in my image and I put it on the right side because that was the front of the card. And on the back, I put in the details and that was basically the back of the card. And now we were ready to save it and sent a print. So I printed out my card on cardstock paper and I scored it using my score kitting tool. And this just helped with uh, overall folding it because we want to make sure that the fold line is seamless and that it's clean. There's no wrinkles. There's no awkward folds. It's just a clean fold line. And from there, I came in with my X-Acto knife and ruler and I cut it down to size. Lastly, just to make a little bit of magic, I put some final touches using the silver metallic paint throughout the, wind, the whimsy sole and the dots around the witchy shape, just for a magical witchy feel of a sixth sense. And that's it guys, that was my piece and I thank you so much for tuning in and I wanna make sure that you guys are all staying safe and doing well and I hope that you stick around for more of my videos. Have a great day guys, keep smiling, bye.